Welcome back to the channel. I'm Richard, your virtual classroom coach, and in this video, we're going to show you how to create your very own waiting room for your participants and how to broadcast messages out to them. Let's have a look. Here we are in the desktop app of Zoom, and the first thing we'll do is take ourselves to meetings where we get a list of upcoming meetings. We'll choose the one in question and we'll then press edit. And at this point, this will allow us to check to make sure that we have enabled the waiting room for this particular event by clicking into advanced options. And there it is, enable waiting room is ticked. So we can now come out of all of that quite happily. So we'll now go up to my account and click into settings. Now, of course, we're in the settings of the desktop version. What we're going to do to get even further into the system, we're going to click on view more settings at the bottom, and that takes us to zoom online via the browser. It rather usefully takes us to the exact page we need. All we have to do is choose in meeting advanced and scroll down to waiting room. It's toggled on as we'd expect. We've got some great new options there, including customize the title, logo and description. So we can really make this a branded or personalized feel for the learner. Let's have a look into that. So just click onto the pencil to edit. And now look at that. Where we'd normally just have, please wait, the meeting host will let you in soon. We can actually edit that to suit ourselves and put our own personal message into there for our learners. And once you're finished, just press that little blue box to tick and confirm. The next great thing you can do is add a logo. Now, as it says at the bottom, there are restrictions to this. Stick to that and you'll have no problems. So I've already created one to match those conditions. So here we go, let's add it. Bit of branding and a nice welcome where it says your meeting topic that will always reflect the name of the meeting when you first created it and now look you can see we can even add a waiting room description and we get 400 characters for that so it could be a very simple welcome message it could even be an agenda it could even have more important information such as don't forget your pre-coursework so we'll fill that in and that will make for a real personalized and branded feel to our waiting room now There'll be no mystery as to where they are and what's happening next. Again, the blue box to tick to confirm the changes. Now let's take ourselves back to the desktop app of Zoom and we're going to start the meeting. And what we'll do now, we'll wait for our first participant to show. And there it go, it says right at the bottom that Bob has entered the waiting room for this meeting. And we continue to get messages there as more people enter that space. Now you'll see it does say that we can see the waiting room, so let's do that now. And we can now see at the top that so far we just have Bob in the waiting room there. And you'll notice it says message. So that's where we can send a message to him and indeed anyone else that's currently waiting in the waiting room space. We do that by typing at the very bottom there. And press return and that will appear on everyone's screen in their waiting rooms. And another minute or two passes and I send another one. Don't forget your pre-work. So when I'm ready to start, all I have to do is choose admit or admit all, and they'll all come flooding into the main room so we can start. There is, hello, Bob. Let's take a look at how that looked from Bob's perspective. Here he is on his iPad. He's going to type in that meeting ID. On this occasion, Bob wants no audio or video. Fair enough, Bob. And when he chooses join, he'll have to pop the password in. Of course, this is optional, depending upon how you set up Zoom. So he pops the password in, and then he's into the waiting room. And there we are, look at that, a lovely welcome at the top, a little bit of branding, 
and just underneath that the name of the actual event as well as a welcome message there that can have any information you want up to the 400 character limit. And whilst they all gather in their individualized rooms, this is where I can then broadcast a message out to everyone. And this is how it appears on their screen. So Bob just taps on that symbol and there appears his message. And he'll be alerted a second time once I send that second broadcast message out. Brilliant. So let's now see what happens when I admit people from my waiting room. There we are. Bob is in and we can begin. And that's it. We've just created a waiting room for our participants. Easy peasy. If you've liked that video, please press subscribe and the like and bell buttons below. And don't forget to check out my other content on how to become a virtual classroom champion. Until then, thanks for watching.